now let's talk about how we can implement aggregate query using GraphQL so aggregate queries are like where we wanted to get the sum of a specific field minimum or maximum or average for any specific field in the object so let's quickly first write the aggregate query in developer console then we are going to replicate the same query into the GraphQL log into your Salesforce org and then we have to write now let me give you an example that we are going to write here the example is that we are going to get the sum of amount sum of annual revenue not amount sum of annual revenue for account by industry so for a specific industry we are going to get what is the exact revenue that account is generating so let's write the query it is going to be select sum of annual revenue then industry from account from account and we are going to add group by statement group by industry so this query is going to give you the sum of uh, annual revenue by industry so if you see here for apparel industry we have got this much amount then similarly biotechnology construction consulting for education we have nothing so this is basically the amount the sum of annual revenue we are getting now if we have to execute this kind of SOQL query in lightning web component or using GraphQL how you will be executing so let's quickly get back to our Altair client here and before we actually start developing this all you need to do is you need to make sure that you are adding the header here you are adding the authorization as a key and then you are adding your access token uh, with the help of a uh, bearer and your access token so if you can see here my access token is like the value for this authorization is bearer and access token okay make sure you are giving a valid access token there so we are going to start with by giving the name itself of the query so let's say query we are going to give the name so let's say that get annual revenue annual revenue the name of our query then what is the way what is the way that we are going to call the query that is UI API UI API and inside UI API earlier what we used to do is we used to say query whenever we wanted to execute a normal query we will say query but if we need to execute an aggregate query we will say aggregate instead of query how do I know or how do you know you just need to do control space you will see what are the options here so you have got query then you have got aggregate right so let's say aggregate so we are going to say aggregate here and under aggregate which object you want to do the query it is an account object so let's type object name here account then under account we used to have edges right so we will have edges then we will have node and here what we used to do is we used to write the field name we used to write the field name but now what we will write it we will write aggregate we will write again aggregate we will have to write aggregate and inside this aggregate we are going to write our function so we have got sum we have got minimum we have got maximum right so how we will write we'll write the field name first we'll write the field name first and then within the curly braces we have to put what we want from this field do you want sum of the field do you want minimum maximum that all the methods that you could write here so you say sum what you want value then you could also write other methods here like minimum value minimum of annual revenue right then you could say maximum maximum of annual revenue you could also say average so these are the four methods these are the four aggregate functions that you could execute for any GraphQL query now add you have as you have added this aggregates here you have to provide a group by group by which field you wanted to execute this query 
so again like in the previous queries we have added everything here at the top of the object so we are going to utilize the same so into the object we are going to say opening and closing parenthesis and this time you will see one more option here called group by you will see one more option here called group by so say group by like other filters other values it takes objects as well it also takes object then the field name which you wanted to group by in our case it is industry then again it is going to take an object as a value so let's say colon object and here the key is going to be group the key is going to be group and value is going to be always true so what we are saying is that group by this industry field and then if we go ahead and hit send request button we will see the result is coming up by industry we will see the result is coming up by industry right so if we see on the top and we look at some some node here you see that for annual revenue we have got sum we have got minimum we have got maximum we have got average but in our result in our result we are also getting the industry but uh, the graph keyword doesn't displays doesn't give us the graph keyword as a result industry in the result right so for that we have not even mentioned which field we want to query which field is the group by right so you could just go to the within the aggregate you can just say you want to query you have already added this industry as a group by so you can just add industry here and then you just need value because this is already add a group by over here so this will not throw any error but if there is any additional field that you try to query here that will throw error so again we'll go ahead and click on send request so if you now click on send request you will see for the blank industry there is nothing and if you scroll down for the april industry these are the results then similarly for biotechnology for construction for consulting education there is nothing no values are there electronics these are the details these are the values so basically in the high level or i would say you are able to make the aggregate queries as well now anytime you are in a lwc you have to make a query to apex class it could be containing filter dynamic filter aggregate queries multiple parent to child child to parent you have got all the capabilities into this graph keyword into this graph keyword how to implement in lwc we will see later but every single capability is here now you might want it to say okay if i go ahead into my developer console into the existing query and add group by one more statement called industry and type and also display the type value here so we have just added one more label of grouping and if you execute it we can see here this is the correct result that we are getting but if we have to replicate this SQL query into graph keyword how you are going to add multi level grouping so if you remember from the previous videos we have what we have talked about is in case of where clause in case of order by right in case of order by we have talked about that within this curly braces within the value of the first topmost element you could just have a comma here and then add another filter and another grouping so it could be like the field api name is type the field api name is type okay and then we will say okay we will say group colon true I believe there is I have done it at a wrong label I've done it at a wrong label a wrong label that's why it's giving the error so we've got yeah this this is basically we're getting the error right let let's let's okay let's enter it so we have got this uh, this is the topmost filter okay this is the topmost filter and then we've got industry and then okay do like this oh, okay okay 
this is the wrong thing so i added an extra curly braces in the starting that's why it was giving us the error but now it's fine you see here the topmost one is the object for the group by topmost one is the object for the group by then we have grouped by industry then we have grouped by type and now if we go ahead and click on send request if we go ahead and click on send request we will still see the result we will still see the result is coming now no type value is coming up type value is not coming as a result let's quickly add that in the result as well so let's quickly add that value here as well we'll say we want the value for type field we want the value for type field as well now let's go ahead and execute this let's go ahead and send the request and you see here we have got type is null industry is null and uh, for annual revenue there is nothing but if you scroll down type is blank but industry is having april another scroll you will see type is customer direct industry is april so all this thing all these thing like the combination that you can see in the developer console the combination that you can see in developer console the same combination you will see into the graphql for aggregate queries as well you could always add you could always have a filter here into your aggregate queries like uh, you could uh, add other things like you have got first you could say okay you want only 10 records do you want to have order by you could always have the order by as well maybe let's say you are saying annual revenue okay so you could always have that kind of thing you could always have this kind of uh, the other filters you could have in the aggregate queries as well so that is how your aggregate query works in the graph key well the filter things we have already talked about